there's my silver beet. Oh, it looks beautiful. I'm gonna make a spinach and silver beet pie with a bit of feta and fresh ricotta. Awesome, thank you so much, Joe. Oh, my pleasure. Have a good day. Thank you. Yes, that's everyone, and welcome to another market menu. I'm back in Patty's kitchen. I'm Nicoletta from Nicoletta's Kitchen, and today I'll be making a silver beet spinach and ricotta pie. Let's get started. Okay, so I've chopped up my English spinach and silver beet that we picked up this morning from the market, and we're just gonna wilt that down in this frying pan. It might look like a lot at the moment, but everything's just gonna shrink as it heats up. So our greens have completely wilted down. I'm just gonna put this through a colander and drain it really well, and then leave it to cool down for a little bit while we make the rest of our mixture. All right, into this bowl, we're gonna add all our other ingredients. We've got chopped up spring onions, that beautiful fresh dill that we picked up from the markets this morning. I'm gonna get some dill for my spinach and silver beet pie. A couple of eggs, some Greek feta, and finally some fresh ricotta. All right, we're just gonna give that a good mix. Combine it all together and then we'll go back to our silver beet and spinach. That dill smells incredible. I think that's really well combined. Let's grab our silver beet. Okay, so our silver beet and spinach has cooled down and I've drained the excess water from it. We're gonna pop it into the rest of our mixture and give it a good mix. All right, we're gonna start building our pie. I've got some phyllo pastry sheets here. Nigella Lawson once said, life's too short to make your own pastry, so buy it. I've already sprayed my oven dish with a bit of olive oil and we're going to start layering up. With a bit of olive oil spray, I'm just going to spray each sheet with a light spray. Alright, so we're going to add our filling into the baking dish. Oh, I can smell that dill. Looking beautiful and creamy. Just spreading it out and flattening everything out. And don't forget to add a bit of salt and pepper. You don't need too much salt because the feta's already got plenty of salt in there. Perfect. All right, we'll start adding another layer on top. And lastly, I'm just gonna bring the edges in and crumple them up a little bit. This is just my preference on aesthetics, really. But you can design your pie any way you like. And that's it, we're gonna just pop it in the oven for about 40 to 45 minutes. Here we are guys, coming in hot. So we've just taken our silver beet spinach and ricotta pie out of the oven. I think it's time to dig in. Oh, that bit's for me. Oh, listen to that crunch. Those layers have come out beautifully. Perfect. Mm. Give me a fork. There we are guys, our silver beet spinach and ricotta pie. You can find my recipe on paddiesmarkets.com.au. Until next time, yasas!